Today, we are going to be deep cleaning my bedroom, cleaning the headboards, the walls, the window, the surfaces, everything in between, giving this room a really good deep clean. So I hope you're ready for some good cleaning motivation. Prop me up some more and start a project with me or go ahead and watch and relax and then you can get up and clean once this video is over. Thank you all for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hi I'm Hamie and I'm so happy you're stopping by today's video. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe on my channel. I love sharing tons of cleaning motivation, homemaking videos, and tons of decorating videos so I'd love to have you join. But like I said, we're going to be giving my bedroom a really good deep clean. We needed to take off the sheets so we could clean the ceiling fan. And I wanted to give all of the walls a good dusting, clean the headboard, and just get this room nice and clean. I just feel like in the fall time, we just need to give the house a really good reset. And I love doing this in the fall and in the spring. It just makes things feel so good. And... If you haven't been following along, I have been posting these deep cleaning videos. I started in my kitchen, went to the living room, I did the bathroom, and then now I'm moving on into me and my husband's bedroom. And then the last room that we'll do is Waverly's room next week. But let's go ahead and get started with this deep cleaning. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words we be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. If you've been subscribed and following along for a while, you know that our bedroom is one of those rooms that just is not Pinterest perfect. It's not Instagram worthy whatsoever. It's just a it works bedroom. Um, definitely have been really thinking about how I can change this space though and make it more cozy and homey and I have talked about some of those in the past but I'm really wanting to make it more of a priority but I really want to get new curtains I really wish that we could my husband had before we got married he had his old parents his parents old bed frame and it's super pretty and I love it and it's just white and it's a lot simpler and it's not as bulky so it would take up less space in this area but since this is the owner's bed we can't really like move it so we are stuck for the with this for now but that's okay i'm fine with it hopefully too i can find some little side tables to match um that can give us a little bit more storage as well that would be nice but for now, I'm just going to be happy with what I have and be happy that I have a home. But I'm going ahead and taking these screens out now and I'm going to go ahead and get everything sprayed down to clean these windows. They open outward and so there gets to be a lot of moisture and just dust inside them. So I wanted to make sure I give them a really good clean before this winter. Since these windows do open, we kind of get mold sometimes, so I just sprayed some vinegar on there to help get rid of it, and you let it sit for a little bit, and I continued to clean it after, but I didn't show any of that just because it was getting later, but now I'm going ahead and cleaning these windows. They were very dusty, and they needed some serious attention, and now I'm going to go organize my husband's hats. These just always get to be a disaster, and I have a Amazon hat over the door hanger in my Amazon court, and 
cart and I just haven't bought it yet and I really just need to it's like 15 bucks and it would just make our life so much easier and it would clear up so much space and clutter on these two dressers but I'm gonna quickly go through and just kind of rearrange my clothes I'm not really getting rid of anything I did that pretty recently I went through all of my clothes switched where me and my husband store our clothes and then I also did some storage underneath our bed but I didn't show any of that but so I just wanted to kind of straighten things up and I'm not going to go through my husband's clothes today. He needs to go through those on his own and figure out what he does want and doesn't. Right in front of me, I didn't realize you were my dream. So you took me by surprise, oh yeah. This dresser catches on to everything. Everything just kind of gets put here. I had so much randomness in like on this today. So I got rid of like a lot of it. I actually put it where it needs to go. I think a lot of times I'll like put something away and like I don't want to fully put it away. So I'll just put it on this dresser. So now I'm going ahead and putting all my earrings back. I need to get a really good jewelry organization, but I just don't know exactly which one. I want to get because I feel like there's a lot of different ways you can have it and I want it to be pretty functional and something that I will actually put my jewelry back where it needs to go but af the afters of how this looks is still cluttered and there are still things on there but I do feel a lot more relief with how it looks it just seems a lot cleaner and then from when I bought my car almost a month ago I when we were going getting ready to trade in my car i took out all of the change um and everything and i just stuck it into this bowl because i was like i don't know for sure i'm gonna sell my car and if not i'll just put like some of it back and then if not like i'll just put this in my new car well my new car doesn't have like a change like spot like my old car did so i went ahead and just put all of the change in my little piggy bank and it is pretty much full so i need to go to the bank and get that all like cashed in and see how much there is who even knows i mean it's a pretty big container and it is just chucked full so i did leave some change out on the side um because i just didn't have enough space for it and i don't have really another place um to put it so i just kind of organized it the best i could and i think overall it looks good
was just quickly sweeping and I'm going to go ahead and just quickly mop these floors and then the bedroom will be nice and deep cleaned. I just wanted, I didn't want to go like too crazy with my deep cleaning on this day. I just wanted to give it an overall deep clean and it just feels so much better in there. I'm so glad that I took the time and just deep clean this really quick and I feel like the more you do this, it's, you don't have to put as much work into cleaning it because you've kept up on it and so that's why I think I also didn't have to do as much because I just slowly do things um, as I go but we're gonna go ahead and put these sheets back on to our bed now But that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys all so much for being here and watching today's video. I hope you're able to get motivation from this video and you're able to now go tackle something that you've been needing to. But if you like today's video, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Also, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And I am just so appreciative that you guys take time out of your day every single week to watch my videos. But I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, you guys.